Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. We're actually, in fairness, recording this video on the 23rd, but it will play on the 30th because our man, myth the legend, Dion, is on a boat in Alaska. So I thought what we'd do today is we'd just step back for a minute, kind of highlight what the three of us do to decompress, enjoy life a little bit. We've worked so hard for so long. We do spend a lot of time helping people, but sometimes we need to check on ourselves, build a, you know, our own batteries, Make sure we're enjoying life because it's not all work. It needs to be some play. So I thought we'd just go around and just, just talk about what we're doing to enjoy life. Life's, your life is finite, right? It ends for all of us. Uh, so Dion, you've, um, what, in the last three months, you spent a month in Miami or Florida. Now you're getting on a boat to Alaska. Uh, let's talk about this being a purpose that you're trying to do as you go forward. Well, so I took two months down in Florida to scuba dive until I felt like I was bored. And I don't know if I reached that or not. Then I've been back for about a month and I don't think humans were ever meant to work this long. <laughs> so time to get on a cruise leaving uh, two days from now. Is it your first cruise? First cruise. And I don't know if it'll ever happen again, because right now it was get an app provability to enter Canada. So the cruise line has tax benefits or something. And then the COVID get your brain scraped out test. that has to be the results back by a certain time. And it's just all these hoops to jump through. And if I mentioned I'm lazy, <laughs> yeah. 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 Have I mentioned I've done 15 or 20 cruises and I would not get on a cruise with all these extra rules. I'm like, yeah. no, thanks. I'll wait. <clears throat> but yeah, it's, it, I love them. They're a blast. You get to do so many things in different places, a different city. You only unpack once. I'm a huge fan, but I'm not a huge fan of hoops. Yeah, sure. So traveling is one of the things I do to try to have that good work-life balance. The other thing is and I get this from a YouTube channel that you guys might want to check out. It's called Joe Kuhn, K-U-H-N. Okay. Know people watching this. He retired at 54. He's been retired three years. His channel is mostly about what were the challenges leading up to it? What was the transition like? What's it been like since he's been there? And something he says that I really take to heart is, as I'm getting closer to not having a W-2, mm -hmm. retire to something, not from something. And, and what I'm kind of, I think I'm right, retiring to is this helping other people reach financial freedom. I think that is something I've been enjoying now for over a year, maybe, maybe a couple of, if you take out YouTube. Hmm. Um, and I've talked about this before. We all have been in rough situations oh, yeah. and, and, and got to the point where work became optional. We never have to work again. And we get to, to ride that emotional roller coaster of from it sucks to where we are now. But we can only do it once. I don't think any of the three of us want to give everything away, start over just so we can experience it again. No, but everybody who's watching, when you reach out with a comment or a question, or you come to the live stream and you let us contribute to you reaching financial freedom. Like we get to steal some of that emotional experience. And for me, that's helping a lot. Yeah. Uh, what do you got, Matt? I'll let you go next. <clears throat> I mean, for me, it's, there were no mentors when I did this, you know, um, I had to pay to spend time with the tradesmen and help them. I was like, I'll just be your gopher. I'll get product for you. I'll like hold the saw for you. Like I'll measure whatever, like I'll measure for you, like whatever needs to get done. Mm. And so for me, <clears throat> the recharging slash I, cause I work a lot right now. So I work my W2 50 hours a week, um, self manage right now because of how many buildings we bought and how many construction projects we have going on for me. That's probably 15 to 20 hours a week right mm -hmm. now um, because we, we grew so fast. Um, and really all of that time is done when my kids are sleeping. So when my kids are awake, I spend time with my kids. Um, but I think the most, the thing that I enjoy the most kind of getting recharged is introducing my kids to new things and teaching them things like, you know, Samuel, Samuel is an absolute laugh riot. You know, we do, we do yard sales on Saturdays where we go as a family and we always shout in the car the first thing, which is, what's the general, what's the rule of yard sales? He's like, don't touch anything. Mm. So it's really easy. It trains them well. They're doing really well. And then, um, you know, funny, funny enough, as I trained him, I, I, I said, do you see that house? I said, we just bought that house. And he goes, daddy, did we buy that for cash flow? And I was like, close. We bought it for cash flow. <laughs> so he rubs his hand together just like that we bought that for cash flow what's this sand cash flow yeah so yeah i want to teach him the business and make sure that he grows up with an advantage that i quite frankly did not have mm. 
you know, every, everything was against me. Everything was an opportunity for me to fail. And so I'm not going to give him anything, but I want to at least set him up to learn and learn from experience. Well, I want to, I want to stop that. You are giving him everything. You're yeah. not handing him. Hand, sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's yeah. not going to get anything. Yeah. That's all the education mentoring that you didn't have. He's getting, he's getting at such a young age. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's smarter than 80% of the real estate agents I work with. So it's perfect. Yeah. Not you, Jay. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. Yeah. I would never work. It's, it's funny. Again, we, as people don't know, the three amigos, we have no idea what we're talking about when we get on. So this, this topic was, was really brought by Dion and getting on a boat. But it's funny. It ties into a video I did earlier in the week. I, again, I get annoyed at the stupidest things. I just do. Like something's just great on me, like fingers on a chalkboard or chalk, whatever that sound. It's like there's, there's just, I can, I can let a lot of stuff roll off my back. But if you like poke at a couple of things, I go like from zero to annoyed extremely fast. And one of the things that annoys me recently, besides Chris Zed, which we talked about last week um, in his specific comment, which I haven't forgotten about, thank you, uh, is people talking about how much money they make on YouTube, right? There, there's no secret that YouTube has this ad sense and you make a penny for every view or all of that. As, a, as my channel has grown now over 30,000, I get those questions sometimes. And I'm like, you guys are asking the wrong freaking question. You really think I do this for that freaking penny? So I did a video, I think it was three or four days ago, where I documented round numbers that over the last three years I've spent or invested or gambled or whatever the hell you want to call it, $125,000 on this channel. And I have not made anywhere close to that. My, my YouTube income is a rounding error. Why would I do that? Because what gets excited for me, like Dion said, is that little a, a, a dopamine hit when I get an email or a text or a DM or maybe a few voicemails here and there if you happen to have my number about a deal that you just closed. I get excited when you write your first great offer, right? And all I got to say is building a legacy is not cheap. I've spent $125,000 proudly. I would do it again because I'm trying to build a story that outlives me by 50 years. That's not cheap. That is fun for me. Now, yes, I want to travel more and do more things, but I am really playing a different game. I am not here trying to get uh, a million viewers. Now, would that be great? Sure, but that's not my goal. My goal is to directly impact lives. I'm not here trying to be the biggest YouTube entertainer. I'm here talking about real things that we do every day. I do six videos a day on purpose. I rented an offer, an office on purpose because you like the background and I have a studio with a whiteboard now and I have a place where I can sit and have casual conversations. And that's, that's exciting to me. I don't have to have the daily grind of, of quota and God being the threat of being fired every 30 days for lack of a performance. I am so glad to leave that behind me. So yeah, I, it is really funny when I get these, how much do you make on YouTube? I'm like, you guys are asking the wrong question, just the wrong question. I was watching your video the other day and I had an interesting thought and uh, the IRS doesn't watch your channel, right? Not because yet. <laughs> I was thinking, okay, so what have I spent to produce content on YouTube? And I've bought a camera and I have gaming computers. So I already had that. And I bought a mic and I get to tapestries and I was like, oh, I've probably spent maybe $2,000, hmm. but the IRS knows I spent $43,481 because Every trip I've ever taken was a place to record a video. Every meal I've ever had was a place to think if I could meet somebody to record or meet somebody that I was recording a video with. Every expense has been associated with that. Yeah. Um, I, was, I was thinking that might be a topic for a video when I was watching yours. And then I thought, no, because the IRS will eventually see that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's funny because, yeah, I mean, I didn't even include, because, yeah, you're right. Like I took a trip to Tahoe. Everybody knows I did a full week up there and we looked at real estate. We did all those. I didn't even include any of that stuff. $125,000 directed at this channel. Not for me. I don't spend 125 grand to lose 115. I did it because I'm trying to build a legacy and legacies aren't cheap. What do you think, Matt? True story. It's expensive. I mean, I don't know. I probably have, forget about my time. Oh yeah. That's not enough time. Oh, like the time's ridiculous. Like, yeah, I'm not cheap. I got to tell where, you. Yeah. Where do I send the invoice for a million bucks for my time? <laughs> Yeah. Like, cause you know, high earners and then on top of, and so it's like, you know, to Dion's point kind of earlier, retire to something. 
I have five things that when my job shuts down that next morning, I'm still waking up. I still got five other things to do. I'm just doing something different. Yeah. So yeah, I think that, uh, you know, we do this to give back, you know, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to keep on doing it. I know that uh, I'm exhausted from doing five videos this week. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. I was like six a day. Dear God. <laughs> this is stupid. I don't want to do this. So, and that's the thing is like, I can't do that now working 10 hours a day. So yeah. So I enjoy it. I enjoy helping people. I try and think about what I would ask myself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I ask myself stupid questions. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm sorry. So yeah. This is fun. Well, well, Dion, know that you will be missed from the three amigos. Uh, I guess it'll be an afternoon off because this will post next week. Truly enjoy Alaska. I think my greatest memory, we've done the cruise to Alaska two or three times now, was just the number of bald eagles. Uh, it's also the time, the only time I've been in a helicopter. We did a glacial helicopter tour. That was awesome. Okay. Some fishing. If you're a fisherman, I think that's some very unique. It's cold though. Um, but yeah, Alaska is special. It's like no other, no other place yeah. I've been. Very different. Uh, Dion, where can people find you? Right here on YouTube, Dion Talk Financial Freedom. And Matt? Lumberjack Landon on YouTube and Instagram and live stream Sunday at 1130 a.m. Eastern time. Awesome. Thanks, guys.